you don't have the down payment you don't have the money you just don't have it but you want to buy that house you do you do you do right so let me tell you about Cal Hafa. if you are in california you're a first time home buyer let me tell you what you can get and what the state of california can help you with take advantage it's called the Cal Hafa home assistance let's talk about it keep watching <laughs> Okay, so here we go. What is Cal Hafa My Home Assistance? Now, this is for buyers that are thinking of buying yet they do not have, you know, when we're talking about the 3.5% down payment FHA loan that we are talking about, right? Now, you will be asking yourself, do you have the 3.5% down payment? Or most of the borrowers do not really have that 3.5% down payment right now that we are talking about that. You know, we say, okay, Calhafa or, or FHA loan, it's 3.5% down payment, yet most or some of the home buyers right now still are have that 3.5% down payment. So the California FHFA or the Calhafa My Home Assistance is giving out that 3.5% toward the down payment and closing costs under the Cal Hafa My Home Assistance program. So it's, it's, it's a help, yet let me tell you this, it is not free, okay? So it's not free. So that 3.5% uh, is, it will be paid or it will be considered as a second loan or a junior loan, so they're calling it. Again, it's a second loan um, together or it, um, together with your first loan, the 96.5%, then the other 3.5% is this one. So again, it's not free that you don't have to pay for it. You have to pay for it, but the good thing about it is that you are not making the payment now, meaning you are only making the 96.5% payments right now, right? And then in the end, if you are to um, uh, move or sell or refinance the property, make note, that that 3.5%, this 3.5% that you are borrowing as a second loan, you have to pay it back again, plus the interest on this. Again, it will be when you move, sell, refinance, or um, otherwise change of ownership, like you're not gonna be the owner of this home. So anything changes like that, sell, move, refinance, or change of ownership, that means you have to pay it back with the interest. Number one, you have to be a first time home buyer. It has to be, you have to be a first time home buyer. Second, purchase a single family home. Single family, not a condo, no multifamily, single family home. Number three, live in the home as their primary residence. It has to be your primary residence. Number four, complete a home buyer education counseling program. And it's attached here on the link. Easy. Just click on the link and that can do it for you. Complete home buyer education counseling. Number five, you have to meet a certain income limits and there's a certain income limit and of course the link is below also so we can find out what income that you can qualify for because there is a geographic income limits that applies to this 